Today I'm going to try to do a route to a supercharger that officially has not opened. Um, so here's where I'm going. Bring it up a little bit. So I'm going up to Cadillac, Michigan, and there's been a, a supercharger under construction for quite a while. And um, I was talking to one of the Tesla Rangers, um, who's actually here today. He's um, hanging out here at the Grand Rapids Supercharger in case anybody wants their uh, seatbelt checked um, for the recent recall. But anyway, he said several people have told him um, that the um, supercharger is actually functional. It just hasn't had a grand opening yet, and so it's not on the map um, or listed on the website as active. So anyway, I'm way down here. Um, down in Grand Rapids supercharging and the trip is going to be um, 105 miles one way so my 70D will probably go about 210 miles um, so I definitely will have enough charge to get there and I'm banking on having the supercharger being opened <laughs> so that I can get back um, so that's really hoping that's the case. If not, I'm going to charge pretty high, like I want at least 200 miles, uh, rated miles anyway, on the vehicle, just in case I need to um, come back quite a ways. And I'm going to check plug share to see if there's any chargers on the way back that I could use. Um, here's the charger in Cadillac. And if we click on it. It says coming soon, but then um, down here it says eight supercharger. Eight supercharger here are all operational. Uh, there was a check in 17 hours ago. Something, somebody beat me to it and uh, got the word out, at least on plug share. So that's good confirmation. Um, so that's encouraging since energy is going to be tight once I get up there. And what's cool about that is that. Um, so I'm way down here in Grand Rapids, and then up up here, uh, there's a lot of destination stuff in uh, northern Michigan. Traverse City is here, um, a lot of wine country out here, um, B&Bs, that kind of stuff. And then up here farther is um, Petoskey and some other really beautiful areas of Michigan, but it's a little bit inaccessible. Um, without that Cadillac supercharger being there at the midpoint. So this is a really exciting uh, development. Next year there's supposed to be a bunch of superchargers being put up here in um, northern and middle Michigan, so that'll make it a lot easier. But for now, uh, we just have this one. Okay, I've charged up to a rated uh, 206 miles, which is, I don't know, probably 85% of my battery. And the uh, supercharger, the next one is 105 miles, so I've got plenty of juice to get there and almost enough juice to get back if I can't charge up there. So now we'll just get on the freeway and make it happen. Freeway. I'm cruising at uh, 70 miles per hour and uh, today's a pretty good day to do this trip um, because it's sunny out and the roads are dry um, which really saves on uh, energy because there's less friction on the roads. Um, <clears throat> yeah it is 34 degrees out right now outside temperature uh, so I warmed up the car, um, you know, until it was comfortable at the supercharger, um, 
and I basically came prepared to not use the climate control. Um, so I've got a long sleeve shirt on and I got my um, you know really good down coat. I have gloves and another jacket as well, but I don't think I'm going to need it. Uh, when the sun is out, even if it's cold outside, um, just the you know the heat um, from the sun inside the car is kind of enough to keep you reasonably comfortable uh, if you're dressed appropriately. So I've got that going because um, I, I tried to do this trip on Thanksgiving morning actually, uh, but I had to abort due to some. Um, I just forgotten to do a couple of things, um, but it's better that I'm doing it today actually because um, on Thursday it was raining and that would have really used up a lot of uh, energy, uh, which is something that a lot of people don't think of and uh, Bjorn Nieland has pointed it out in a number of his videos uh, that you know, the, the surface tension of water on the, on the uh, pavement <coughs> or tarmac really increases the amount of energy that the car has to use to keep itself going forward. So anyway, I'm just cruising right now. Um, so far I've been on autopilot most of the time. Um, I don't know if that's better for energy or, or not. It might not actually be better for energy because when autopilot, I mean, part of autopilot is the um, dynamic cruise control. And when it's doing that, it, it doesn't always do the most gentle decelerations accelerations um, and you can lose you know a percentage of energy um, when you don't do that but it's okay most of this stuff is pretty straight anyway so yeah we'll see how it goes <laughs> Supercharger. I'm pulling in right now. A lovely string of many. All right. Back up to the appropriate receptacle. I'm still not quite very good at seeing how far I am from the chargers. I wish the cords were just a little bit um, longer. Okay, let's plug in. Get some charge on. I love how it opens itself. These cables are cold and stiff. There. Back up a bit. There's the Meyer whose parking lot we're in. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, but nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, eight. That's what I thought. Eight, and then the obligatory giant 
wooden fenced box. I actually saw the box from the, from the road, which is over there. And that's how I knew the superchargers were here. I mean, I knew it was at Meyer, but anyway. Yeah, so here I am. It's, uh, as Bjorn Nealon says, it's freaking cold. So I'm gonna get back in the car. Um, so I made it here with about 85 rated miles. Okay, so I guess I made it with uh, 80 miles. Um, now I started out with um, a rated of about 210. The distance one way is 105 miles, so that would have given me, um, you know, here and back at optimum efficiency. So since I only have 80 miles, uh, left that means I used an extra 30 miles getting here then it rated um, Now I had range mode activated And I also did not use the heater I didn't use the air heater or the seat heater or the steering wheel heater for the entire time uh, That I was driving the last hour and a half um, And it's 32 degrees outside uh, so it was cool, but it was bearable. My hands were a little bit cold. That was about it. Um, but anyway, so it, I didn't lose any um, any power due to that. But um, Cadillac, this supercharger is 650 feet of altitude higher than um, my charger in Grand Rapids. So I suspect that that altitude climb is at least partially responsible for that. Also, I was going 70 miles an hour the entire time. Um, I, I'm sure I would have gotten better range if I was going 65, but who wants to do that? So I'm super relieved that this supercharger actually works. <laughs> it's not on the map yet, so um, but there were reports, and the ports, reports were true. So that's exciting. Um, so yeah, I'm going to charge... Um, going to charge probably to at least 150 miles of rated range um, and then see how long that takes me um, let's see so it drove pretty smooth I, I'd say about um, maybe 80% of the way I was on autopilot um, yeah probably about 80% and there were actually some pretty long stretches where I didn't even have to touch the steering wheel um, so it was very smooth sailing, not a lot of traffic at all, no events, so that was good. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take a little break, find a restroom in the mire, and then uh, let this charge up for free. <laughs> Well, that was super interesting. So um, I've charged up to 173 rated miles, so I've got plenty to get back. Um, oh, I gotta get the end of But there were so many people that came up and uh, started asking about the car. Um, at least like four different people just drove up. And um, there's some, I guess they had, I mean the Meyer is a pretty popular place for this uh, community to uh, shop so people had been seeing it, um, you know, being built and were curious about it but there's a lot of interest um, up here in Tesla and uh, one lady was super excited and actually parked and walked over um, and said she's just dreaming to get one and I told her about the Model 3 which she didn't realize was so cheap. Um, meaning uh, base model $35,000, tax credit, so you're looking at high 20s. She was super excited about that, so um, yeah, so it's kind of cool. Um, I wasn't, wasn't quite expecting uh, that much of popular interest. Um, I was the only Tesla parked there, so 
And I know I'm not the first one because somebody else on PlugShare uh, said they charged there yesterday. That's how I knew. Well, you, I talked about it in the beginning of this video. So, anyway, I'm on my way back home. Um, should be about an hour and a half of driving. Uh, sunny skies, 34 degrees, um, dry roads. Sounds like a pilot giving that. We don't expect any turbulence here. We're just sitting back and enjoying the ride now. Okay, I made it back, and so let's go over a few stats here. So I have, uh, in terms of rated range, oops, da -da -da, there it is, I have 50 miles left. Um, so in uh, Cadillac, I charged up to 174 rated miles. That means I used about 124, 125 maybe, um, rated miles to go <clears throat> 105 actual miles. So that's not bad. Um, although I thought I was going to do better than that because I wasn't using any, you know, heat or anything like that. But I did have the uh, cruise control set to 75 instead of 70 like I did on the way up. So that definitely would have used a little bit more um, energy. But even with that, if you look at my um, energy graph, I used. Um, I mean, I was averaging under 300 watt hours per mile. Um, it says 281 here, so that only reflects reflects the last 30 miles. So that's not entirely accurate. But on the way up to Cadillac, I was above 300. I think it was like 310. Um, so that does correlate with the um, <clears throat> the uh, altitude uh, changes. So Cadillac is 650 feet higher. Um, yeah, so that was interesting. Um, I'm definitely glad I, um, charged, um, as much as I did. So, yeah, overall it was a fun trip. I used autopilot for, you know, at least 80% of it, which worked very well, uh, very smoothly, and, um, yeah, it was really fun. So, um, thanks for watching, and, uh, hope we'll see you in the next video.